My dear friends, a hearty welcome to you for this Holy Eucharistic celebration. We ask you, my dear friends, to pray for all those who are suffering due to COVID-19. Let us ask our Lord and our dear Mother on this day, being a Saturday, to eradicate this COVID illness from this universe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures. Let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. Let us confess together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, what I failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. And therefore I ask, bless Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for me to Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-loving God, who through your only begotten Son have made us a new creation for yourself, grant, we pray, that by your grace we may be found in the likeness of him in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John, chapter 5, verses 14 to 21. We are quite confident that if we ask the Son of God for anything, and it is in accordance with His will, He will hear us. And knowing that whatever we may ask, he hears us. We know that we have already been granted what we ask of him. If anybody sees his brother commit a sin, that is not a deadly sin. He has only to pray and God will give life to the sinner. Not those who commit a deadly sin, for there is a sin that is death and I will not say that you must pray about that 
every kind of wrongdoing is sin but not all sin is deadly we know that anyone who has been begotten by god does not sin because the begotten son of god protects him and the evil one does not touch him we know that we belong to god but the whole world lies in the power of the evil one we know that the son of god has come and has given us the power to know the true god we are in the true god as we are in his son jesus christ this is the true god this is eternal life children be on your guard against false gods the word of the lord thanks be to god A responsorial psalm the lord takes delight in his people the lord takes delight in his people sing a new song to the lord his praise in the assembly of the faithful let israel rejoice in its maker let zion's sons exult in their king your response the lord takes delight in his people let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp for the lord takes delight in his people and crowns the poor with salvation your response the lord takes delight in his people let the faithful rejoice in their glory shout for joy and take their rest let the praise of god be on their lips this honor is for all his faithful your response the lord takes delight in his people gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia a great prophet has been appeared among us god has visited his people alleluia the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o god chapter 3 verses 22 to 30 Jesus went with his disciples into the Judean countryside and stayed with them there and baptized At the same time John was baptizing at Anan near Salem where there was plenty of water and people were going there to be baptized This was before John had been put in prison. Now some of John's disciples had opened a discussion with a Jew about purification. So they went to John and said, "Rabbi, the man who was with you on the far side of the Jordan The man to whom you bore witness is baptizing now and everyone is going to him John replied A man can lay claim only to what is given him from heaven You yourselves can bear me out I said I myself am not the Christ I am the one who has been sent in front of him The bride is only for the bridegroom and yet the bridegroom's friend who stands there and listens is glad when he hears the bridegroom's voice the same joy i feel and now it is complete he must grow greater i must grow smaller the gospel 
of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, there was Mr. Sunil, who was a very talented guy and searching for a job, he gets into a great industry. The owner of the company was very happy to have such a great talented person. Everyone admired him. And in few months time, the company had a very good production. Everyone attributed the good to him. But as time passed, when he began to get all the comments and all the attributes feeling good and finally feeling proud, oh, the company is working because of me. And then all the negativity he began to get. He was looking for more salary because he thought that the company was working very well because of him. And then people began to appreciate him more and more. And gradually he began to have pride. One day he had a tussle with his owner. And he tells the owner, see, I will leave the company if you talk to me this way. To his surprise, the owner gave him a letter of dismissal. He did not expect such a thing to happen. The owner told him, you have been putting in the minds of your colleagues a lot of bad things about the company, spoiling the reputation of the company. And therefore, even if my company has a failure and falls because of your dismissal, let it happen. So the man still has that pride and he goes out. And to his surprise, the company was functioning the way it functioned. What must have happened in this? Since he was talented, everyone was appreciating him. And as a result, instead of taking it for good, all negativity began to gather around him by his pride. And as a result, he ruined himself. He couldn't join anywhere in any company because he had a dismissal letter. My dear brothers and sisters, owner is a owner. You cannot outbeat your owner. You are a worker and you remain in your place. By your efficiency, you do not become an owner. You are still working for someone else. We need to remain grateful to people who give us an opportunity to grow. You look at the reading of today. Some people come to John the Baptist and say, see, the man whom you say is Christ is now baptizing. You say you are the forerunner. Now he is baptizing. And everyone is going to him for baptism. John the Baptist gives them a clear-cut answer. What lays right for him from heaven, he can claim it. 
because that is truth. I am here to prepare the way. He is Christ. He must grow and I must grow smaller. He must grow higher. I must grow smaller. This is an attitude of someone who is come to prepare the way for the Lord. He did not have pride in him. He did not say, I am greater than God. I am greater than Christ. He remained in the periphery of his area, of his work. And he did what was given to him without any pride, without overtaking someone's role, but being within the position that was given to him. And so, my dear friends, we need to learn from John the Baptist to be humble, to be accurate, to be in the right position, and to do what is given to us. Let us ask the Lord during this Holy Eucharist to make us people efficient, effective, but to be in our own places of work. Never try to go ahead someone by stepping over them, by trampling over them, but to grow in a healthy manner in this society. Amen. On the pattern with the host I offer all my lowly heart All my life, my deeds, my thoughts Thine shall be as my thou art In the chalice let me be a drop of water Jesus, in thy love, thy great sacrifice I share. In the chalice, let me be a drop of water in the bed. Lost, O oh Jesus, in thy love, thy great sacrifice I share. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this body to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Derek our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church. Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray to Mary, our mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual, asking our dear mother to bless the whole world and seek for healing from Jesus for those who are suffering due to COVID-19. We also pray for one of our priests, Father Sushant, the parish priest of this place, who is suffering due to COVID-19 just hospitalized. Dear Mother, we ask you to get healing for him through your son Jesus. Dear Mother, intercede for us all, especially those who have lost their near and dear ones. We ask you, dear Mother, to bless all our families with peace, joy, happiness, and serenity. Bless all our communities, our congregations, with your love and help us to assist people and give them the right spiritual nourishment. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever-deepened trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, wishing you a very happy day. Remain at home and remain safe. Hail, Holy Queen and throne above. Seraphim, heaven and earth resound.